Um, I'm taking a look at SPACs. Uh, where will you, uh, after your trimming on your crypto exposures, where do you actually, where, where do you actually want to position yourselves into? Some SPACs are actually quite interesting for me. Uh, Aria Sciences acquisition is one SPAC. It's not Nautilus Biotechnology, long read sequencing. So you are aware that Pachli and uh, and uh, all of these biotechs have been doing well. Pachli is now trading at $44, very strong moves. These are $4 here, $50. That is a times 13 move, 30 next move. Those who even entered, even like I was a bit late already here, about 35, um, still managed to still make some money, right? So let's say you got in about 32, still at 44, 50. Um, yeah, so I was a bit late. Uh, some of us were early. Uh, some of us were early as early as eight. Uh, and then some people joined in about $20. So I was just more on January, February, entering into genomic related names. So pack B, uh, yeah, I entered here $35, $35 and with an entry point at $30. Although I didn't get to get in anymore at $30. Still strong, uh, still uptrend. But I think that there is a possibility that um, these movements might actually have run its course strongly. Doesn't mean that it will fall. Uh, just like Bitcoin won't necessarily fall, all these crypto exposure will not necessarily fall. But these quick moves of about 10x moves in just less than five months can actually uh, make some people take profits. So um, when you're actually thinking which which companies to take profits from, uh, I'm thinking that some of these 10x moves might actually prompt me to take profits. Uh, if, especially I'm not 10x here because I'm late, right? 35 to 50. But I'm pretty sure that the people at $4 here selling at $50 would want to take some profits off. Now, um, Bingo. Of course, Bingo uh, was a company long read sequencing, right? Genomics. Uh, Bio Nano Genomics has rallied from as low as 50 cents. So you could see that this is a very strong movement. 55 cents to $16. Yes, you heard me right. That's a 30x move. 30x move since December. So um, generally speaking, if you're not hitting 100% moves, you're doing it wrongly. Um, I'm talking about 100 moves in less than a month, yes. Uh, so definitely some awesome 10x movers are making 200, 300% for their portfolios because they've got these super duper strong wins, right? Uh, it's doing 20x, 30x in like two months or so. So those who have BNGO, congratulations. Now, I don't think that will really fall, but um, I won't mind if you want to actually take some profits off. 15, 16 might be an actual entry, uh, actual selling area. I'm also taking a look at additive manufacturing. Maybe it's all uh, already a sell area, no? So some people might want to enter at 14 and 12, but um, do do your formats. You've got a resistance here at about 18 to 20. So just be aware that um, entering these printing related names might actually be more of a limited upside. So I think it's like the last 50% or the last 20%. So all the crypto exposure names, uh, you want to be more on the mindset or more on the cautious mindset that any extension moves for Bitcoin to hit $60,000 might actually prompt your crypto exposure names to actually go 40% higher. But you want to actually be posting 40-50% uh, higher on the sell-off. Uh, sorry, not on the sell-off, on the run-up. On the melt up, what I'm talking is the melt up move. Want to actually be putting those sell orders, the melt ups on the way up. Meaning, if nano dimension went up to twenty dollars or sixteen, seventeen dollars, you want to actually be positioning there. I was thinking about cope and the wearables. Yes, we've done a ten x move here already, but um, this is consolidating. What I uh, what I was uh, telling people was that all right, let's try to see if this goes twenty dollars. We don't want to sell early because uh, at the end of the day, we're early like one dollar. So if one can go twenty, that's even way better. So um. Given that there is a strong movement uh, on all the, these these are already uptrend and very strong movements. We got in very early due to due diligence and research. Now, um, I think that right now you just need to, uh, how do you say this? Um, just ride the gravy all the way to the moon, ride the gravy all the way to Mars. Uh, that's, that's how you want to make your money so you're not necessarily buying but you're actually just really holding on to as high as it can go you want to trail it uh but uh let's see whether it goes 15 16 to 20 that's what i want you to be doing so some people have argo blockchain uh they, they have argo block blockchain as in rbkf some of them like rbkf so it was the same move meaning um if this one goes to six to seven eight dollars you want to actually be profit taking rather than just sleep sleeping and sleeping i know that you're making money while you're sleeping but you want to actually not sleep when you're hitting 500 percent very few uh very few companies can actually do a 30x move in about two months so you don't want to be just sleeping out there uh you want to be actually taking some profits on the way up um it's very rare that i'll tell you not to be sleeping but uh the movements right now you want to actually be um locking a little just lock a little because uh str very strong movements 
And um, the movements have been very strong, ferocious, such that some some SPACs, I think, are worth your attention. After uh, taking profits on a 10x move on some of your names, whether it be crypto exposures, whether it be those um, bio-nanogenomic plays, take a look at some bio-nanogenomic uh, related play. Aria Science Sequences, uh, Aria Sciences sounds to me similar. It's a bit similar to Pac Bio and Bingo Bio Nanogenomics, such that I think Aria here about 17 might actually be a cheaper play rather than chasing an extensionary move on your na, uh, on your Bingo. Now I could be wrong, guys, but um, from a layman's perspective, just from a technical perspective, some some Bio Nanogenomics are already uh, extended. However, some are not that extended. So you might actually want to take into take in, take into this perspective. Transmedics Group is actually also an interesting company. Take note: twenty dollars now trading at thirty dollars. We're talking about a one hundred percent move. Uh, very strong. Uh, Transmedics is ticker symbol TMDX. Transmedics Group. We're gonna actually um see that um so far uh we are seeing a very strong money flow into your healthcare related names and um transmedics groups let's take a look at their presentation i have it here uh wait up let's go to the summary transmedics group mm. wait uh. i have it here so let's, let me just uh, copy wait up um I have some some of the presentations. All right. So it's an organ care system. Let's read Transmedics Group, 21 pages, redefining what is possible in organ transplantation. So Transmedics, what do we do? We're transforming solid organ transplants, increasing the number of organ transplants, and we're improving clinical outcomes. Organ transplant therapy benefits. All right. The current management uh, challenges is that we need to improve the existing donor organs for transplants. And how do we improve this post-transplant clinical outcomes? Benefits of transplantation, of course, um, mortality is lessened. Uh, sorry, mortality is increased, meaning you're not you're not going to be fatal. You're going to live. Longer life extens expectancy, better quality of life, end-stage organ failure will be treated, revenue growth, cost-effective for end-stage organ failures. So right now, there are cold storage limits uh, with utilization, so shown to negatively impact post-transplant outcomes. There's a lot of 30 to 35% post-transplant complications or infections. So what does Transmedics do? They overcome that cold storage limitation, significant reduction in ischemia, enable organ optimization outside of the human body, and allowing for organ viability assessment. There's a significant increase in organ utilization, 10 to 14% post-transplant complications. So it's a significant improvement over the clinical outcomes. Transmedics, all right, this long perfusion set, long solution. They've got a heart perfusion set, heart solution. Liver perfusion set, it's a liver solution. All of these are available with uh, organ transplant uh, company Transmedics. The significant impact will be 87% um, utilized for transplants and increase. Uh, and these are the... the the benefits. Impact on post-transaction clinical outcomes, 87% um, utilization of lungs currently unused from DVD and DCD donors, good outcomes, 50% reduction of severe post-transplant complications. So these are the benefits of actually investing in Transmedics Group. Donor retrieval market dynamic, national mandates, etc. Established market presence, all in these uh, centers, commercial centers. Okay. There's actually one other company that uh, I want you to, uh, actually there's four other companies that I want you to know about. What are the catalysts? All right. So um, basically it's really a transplant play. If you look, take a look at the strategies, near term, mid term, long term. Okay. Transmedics is distancing from their competition. They've got patents, versatile, national service program, global presence. Okay. They want to transform the standard of care and they want to re redefine what is possible in tra organ transplantation. Okay, actually, what's uh, what's more in impressive to me is actually bioprinting. Um, this is organ transplantation. This is actually printing your hearts, printing your lungs, printing your uh, arteries, or in this case, human acellular vessels. If you've heard about AHAC, it's called Humacite. Alpha Healthcare uh, Acquisition Corporation. So this is a company we got in last night. Uh, got in at about $11, $12, $11.50 to $12, all the way to $13. Looks like this is actually an interesting uh, bioengineering-related name. Uh, the company is uh, Laura Nicholson. Um, you want to actually put this in your buy list if you don't have it yet. There's a lot. Um, let's take a look at the uh, companies that are also with this uh, designation. FDA approved 
Uh, it's RMAT, um, RMAT um, designation. What does RMAT designation do? This is a uh, sponsors of cell and uh, stem cell and gene therapies are eligible to obtain an RMAT designation from the US FDA if their product is intended to treat the serious or life threatening diseases and if it, if it can um, cure unmet needs. So who are the companies that have already the RMAT designation? Take, take note, you've got Capricorn Therapeutics, you've got JSite, Bluebird Bio, Humicide, Juno, Envisant, Malincroft, other C's. So Humicide is actually a hack. Take a look at Capricorn and uh, Capricorn Therapeutics. These are all the companies with more uh, designations. So uh, when you're taking a look at companies that have passed uh, 3D bioprinting, you've got these companies. Let's try to see um, more clearly. 3D bioprinting is a, is a big market in my view. So accelerations uh, have been happening in this stage. And uh, there are many companies handling that. You've got these companies, uh, take note, new ARMAT designations for chloride, Dema treatment, Night Star Therapeutics, Voyager Therapeutics, Calag Caladrius Biosciences, Cell Therapy. Uh, these are 2018. For those who don't know what an ARMAT designation is, it is the highest way to intent, it's like an FDA approval. So it's a breakthrough therapy designation, including the increased meeting opportunities with FDA, discussing potential surrogate or intermediate endpoints. So I personally would want to invest only in, uh, in how to say this, ARMAT designated companies. So receiving ARMAT is like a, uh, like a badge for, for me. So let's see. Gene therapies, you could see that most people discuss, uh, of course, you've, you've probably heard about uh, Art Genomics investing a lot in Editas, Intelia, CRISPR Therapeutics. Those are your gene therapies. Of course, you've got CAR-T. CAR-T is um, cancer cell therapy. You've got spear T cells. You've got cancer immunotherapy names right now. These are what people know about. Um, Gilead, that's learned, uh, heard a lot already, uh, Amgen, right? But uh, let's take a look at the bioprinting. What I want is the bioprinting. You've got Humacite right now. Um, and these are what is uh, here in the company. I want to actually study this one, uh, Capricorn Therapeutics, uh, Exosome Therapeutics. It's Capricorn. Let's take a look at Capricorn. Capricorn. KPR. What does Capricorn do? Capricorn so far has been rallying from about $3.50 since January, already up 100% so far. The question is, is this going to go $30? Is this an option that we have to be buying into, right? So what does Capricorn do? Trading right now at $7.38, good, good entry point here at $7.38, all the way to $6 or even at $5. Um, can it go $10? And more importantly, can it break that five-year resistances, right? Um, so you're seeing um, from a company standpoint, are we seeing the fruits of a potential $30 or a 6 or a 10x name, right? Can $3 go to $40 and buying at 7 you still make about what? 7x move. The study Capricorn Therapeutics right now. <clears throat> Capricorn Therapeutics. I was uh, studying these because I was uh, taking a look at, uh, at, at AHAC, a.k.a. Uh, Humicide. Let's go to the website of Capricorn Therapeutics. It's a clinical stage biotech company discovering, developing, commercializing first-in-class cell exosome-based therapeutics, treatment, and prevention of diseases. Okay, uh, website. Capricorn is the leading edge of developing cellular and exosome therapies. Capricorn, okay, uh, news. Announcing the development of serology tests to confirm activity of SARS-CoV-2 vaccines. Announcing publication for enhanced potency of cardiosphere derived exosomes, the collaborating, announcing recommendation for continuous phase two inspired trial for severe COVID-19 patients. I think like right now, um, the world is actually um, paying up for any company that can cure, not just not just for Moderna, not just for BioNTech, not just actually you don't make a lot of money in Pfizer. Um, distribution is not the solution. You need to find and make money on the, on the actual company that discovered the biologic the breakthrough. So distribute, uh, purchasing distribution pro, uh, companies is not really the best way to 10 extra money. So here, uh, February 1, 2021, let's read this. The technology has been licensed from John Hopkins University. By the way, for those who are un wondering, why did wearables go up very strongly? Take note that Copen actually had, um, we, we mentioned already about, I, I, I guess it was a week ago when we mentioned it, when it's trading at six, seven dollars, uh, Copen actually said that they were working with some hospital professionals for a specific custom-made design. 
for hospitals to actually treat some patients through their wearables. So that's an amazing technology that Copen is actually um, doing, an application of the wearable technology or the micro display LED, LEDs, micro, micro LED display. All right, so let's read first this, uh, this uh, technology. Uh, patient data is demonstrating the validity of novel imaging-based approach furthering Capricor's platform advancement. So um, they're a discovery company development, commercializing first-in-class cell and exosomes. Um, it has received the non-exclusive license to the IP from uh, John Hopkins. They said that this platform is going to be amenable to a vast array of serology applications. Patient antibodies were done to multiple SARS-CoV-2 proteins, including the spike, nucleocapsid, membrane, based on the bio uh, RxIV preprint server. This study is a new approach to serology testing, harnessing the unique ability to human cells to prevent viral proteins in their native context, native conformation. The dedication to the develop these exosome-based RNA delivery platform is enhanced by the invention. Um, from, from a decades old uh, technology because uh, right now right now we still have um, our technology right now is still heavily reliant on false signals uh, and now we've got these uh, these platforms for new cutting edge approach to companion diagnostics. Um, I do see that the money right now is flowing a lot into um, AI derived uh, drugs. So use an AI to actually get uh, a solution to the rare diseases. One such company if you have, if you've heard uh, uh, is VOR. VOR, uh, we, we, we took a position here at about $42, $44. I actually put an arrow here at 35 and 30 wanting to buy more, but uh, so far it has risen more than uh, gone down. So um, right now, I think that there is a surge in uh, companies that are worth investing in, in the biopharma region, biopharma region, cancer diagnostics uh, related companies, stem cell related approaches, bioprinting. I think that that's, um, that's where Awesome 10X is. Um, so th these are uh, checking the paradigm of cancer thinking, VOR. This is a company that we already have discussed inside our Awesome Tenex Inner Circle. You might actually want to check this and put this in your watch lists. Um, Capricor, put that in your watch list. Think it's worth a study. Detection of antibodies, la la la. Of course, I wanted to also share to you guys uh, a company that we are also in love with. Uh, you heard that Plymouth Rock is actually something that I love. Uh, especially, I discussed about this drone company that was uh, reforesting, reforesting, doing reforestation for Somalia. Uh, so we mentioned to buy at about forty cents all the way to sixty cents. So far, we're up about three x. Uh, trading already at one one dollar forty cents. Um, looks to be a winner. So I'm just gonna hold on to this. Given the the strong surge on your drones, I uh, just wanted to share about the the drama last day. Yesterday, you've got the dramatic uh, thing happening with Ehang. Now, I really thought that Ehang would give me an entry at 28, but it never did. At only at, uh, pre market, it gave an entry at 42 for Ehang. I got some at 42, and uh, I sold some at about 70. But when I realized that Ehang had a rebuttal to um to the short report, I realized that uh, 75 is too early to sell. 70 to 75 is too early to sell. And, uh, and so I bought more. So uh, 42, 55, 70, how high can this go? First resistance of Ehang might actually be 97 to 109. But let's tell you what exactly happened, the Ehang, um, the Ehang rebuttal. So Ehang responds to this deceptive Wolfpack research report. This was actually how Ehang, the CEO, actually tried to answer all of the short attacks, why the short seller is wrong. Let me read to you what it is. So he said, Mr. Hua Chi Mu, who said that he founded Ehang to make urban air mobility a reality for ordinary people. We're talking about urban reality, uh, urban air, these are EV takeoff landing. I do believe in this dream. And so a lot of the awesome tenants in our circle so far, we've discussed more than 20 companies that are actually the winners in this EV call round. You are hearing Ehang, yes, but um, if you're in the inner circle, let me just remind you that if you're making so much money in the free side, you'll make so much more money in the inner circle side. So why don't you join? Uh, it's about, uh, just search, and uh, it's about 2,000 peso a month, 10,000 peso six months. Um, our offering of one one year is already over. The promotion of 15,800 is over, uh, but you can actually check out, I think, um, We'll, uh, we'll publish uh, an annual rate of 18,888 for those who actually want to join us annually. Uh, anyway, uh, let's take a look at this short seller report and why they're wrong. The market actually feels that uh, there's a jump for uh, for human, uh, there's no need for human pilots. You'll see UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, EVTOLs. 
So um, this is going to be efficient. Uh, you're going to see air mobility to the mass population. So we're talking about companies as big as as big of a range like uh, as Boeing, Uber, Airbus. Um, Toyota has a partnership stake with Joby Aviation, for instance. So um, as early as 2017, Mr. Hu said that we already led the global aerial technology industry in completing development testing of the full redundancy system. We proprietary completed the development of core technologies, including, among others, the high-performance propul propulsion system, two-way communication, detectable, senseless, la, la, la. So you can actually, you guys, read all of these uh, technologies that Yi Hang is saying, um, experiences about it, why the short seller is wrong. Uh, you can read all the accusations. Um, it's all here in the, you can just search, right? Um, Ehang to me is actually wrongfully um, wrongfully sold down. And um, while, while I wanted for the market to actually crater it down so that I could enter 2814, sadly, it never fell that, down that low. So I had to buy already at 40, 42.55, even as high as $70. Take note that this might actually have resistance here. Um, you've got some selling pressure here about 97 to 109. So, what I'm seeing in the market right now is a rotationary move. There's a rotation move. Um, there's a lot of companies that you can buy, some IPOs, some SPACs that are in the EVTOL region and also in the biogenomic related region. So put a, put a watch list. Uh, this is also perhaps an entry point. Try to study Ajax Therapeutics. Ajax Therapeutics uh, went from about just take a look at January. It was trading 150 all the way to three dollars. So one X move, but uh, this could actually go five X or ten X. So we want to actually enter near two dollars if you can on Ajax Therapeutics now. Just a quick, uh, quick, quick run. What does Ajax Therapeutics do? A lot of stem cell related companies. A lot of biotech companies related to human longevity. So this is initially a subsidiary of BioTime with British uh, billionaire investor Jim Mellon backing it up. Ajax Therapeutics. Uh, age, the ticker symbol is age. Let's take a look at the website. What does Ajax Therapeutics do? It says that I want to expand human health span. Um, people you've heard about them uh, say that uh, you can actually live as long as 90 years old, 100 years old. Can we really do this? So Ajax Therapeutics is focused on developing, commercializing novel therapeutics targeting human aging. We are building upon our proprietary strategy for pure stem and induced tissue generation, regeneration. So I believe in the companies that are doing this, like Humacite, they can actually do some um, human um, cellular vessels, that's HAVs. So you're seeing Transmedics do organ transplant. We're talking about regenerative medicine. And uh, some of the largest unsolved problems in aging might actually be solved by these types of companies. Ajax Therapeutics says that they are using um, um, uh, cell-derived young cells. So it's a little bit on the stem cell technology. You want to actually study cellular immortality, regenerative capacity to reverse age-related changes in the body. So the founder is Dr. Michael West, the newly issued patent related to IPS cells. Click here to watch. Let's watch this. I think that um, I personally don't claim to know a lot. So I'm actually just trying to learn and learn as we go along. But um, what I've learned, what I've detected uh, is that there's, there's so much solutions that we you might actually be feeling underinvested. So while people would say that the market is frothy, uh, ex extensions over extensions or some on some crypto names, um, it's 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 not that an extension does not mean that it's gonna crash. By the way, it just it just means that you've missed it. Like they made ten x, you did not make ten x. That's what it means. If they had a cost of five thousand dollars in crypto, it goes to sixty thousand. They made twelve x. Uh, you didn't because you didn't buy early on. That's, that's the only difference. Um, it doesn't mean that you chasing is wrong, but why would you chase a 20% move when you can actually make 10x moves in some EV tolls, in some drones, in some therapeutic names, bio stem cells? You know, that's what I'm seeing. Um, there's a lot of SPACs right now that are actually offering some unimaginable 10x opportunities, perhaps 100x opportunities. You want to actually watch uh, these companies. So try to go to their stem cell presentations. Quickly, uh, stem cell presentation. Let's read this. Just January 23, 2020. So this last year, um, I think that 2021, some of the people are actually trying to check out these presentations and learn more about whether um, whether it's real, whether we can actually um, prolong our life. So some, I think like if you notice, CRISPR technology, genetic editing has been um, a sick, uh, wait, seven, eight years. I think I read about it eight years ago, nine years ago, 2012. Um, 2015, it got more popular, CRISPR editing technology, 2019, 2020. 2020, last year, we announced the Nobel Prize for a, 
for uh for chemistry for these two founders of CRISPR, Jennifer Doudna and uh and Emmanuel Charpentier. So my theory is that uh, by 2021 or 2022, we're gonna award a Nobel Prize for uh for 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 what for what these stem cell research and uh, bioprinting is doing and uh, in prolonging our lives. So we're gonna do um printed kidneys, printed hearts, bioengineering, bioskin. So I, I believe in that uh in that powerful revolution.